Hi everyone, this is Linda. Uh, today I want to show you how you can go back in time on your computer to um, a previous state where your computer was actually working properly. I know a lot of my friends have been having a little bit of a problem um, with our gaming sites here and uh, the only way that it worked for me was for me to go back in time on my computer. Now wouldn't it be great if we could all go back in time in our lives? That'd be kind of fun, huh? But unfortunately we can't. So um, we're going to go back in time on our computer instead. Um, I want to just tell you right now that I installed Windows 7 on my computer. So my um, video is going to be made on Windows 7. But I'm going to actually do uh, generic. So it should actually work for everybody the way I'm going to show you how to do this. A um, couple months ago I couldn't um, everything was working great and then I couldn't download that geo geo locator thing and uh, I got a little bit frustrated as I know a lot of you are as well so uh, I decided that um, I was gonna go back in time uh, the best time to actually do this might be overnight I don't know how long it's gonna take um, sometimes it takes a couple hours depending on how big your computer is and how much um, you got on it I also just want to let you know that you're not going to lose any emails, you're not going to lose any pictures. Uh, the thing you might lose is updates to any software that you had recently downloaded. Uh, and another thing that we're going to have to do is turn off all um, automatic updates. You, you can't do that because something in the, in the updates um, that we've all been getting, if you have automatic turned on, it's obviously conflicting with, our, um, with this game here. So, um, I'm gonna, okay, so now what you're gonna want to do is, um, you're gonna go on over to the start button, okay, click on help, and up here in the search box, we're gonna click on system restore, or type in system restore. And from here, um, I think we want to click on this. Uh, then you, you know, everybody's going to be different because I don't know what which version of Windows you have. So you're all gonna, you're all gonna have some kind of instruction here. Uh, so just click on, click the Open System Restore or whatever it says on your screen. Just click the link. Now I've already went back in time. I actually had to do this twice. Um, the first time it didn't work. I didn't go back far enough. So you're going to kind of want to remember when was the last time your computer was actually working. I know the games have had problems from the beginning, but the last time you were actually able to play. Um, so I, I, I'm not going to walk you through the whole thing. I'm only going to take you to a certain point. Okay. So um, I'm going to choose a different restore point. This is what you're going to want to do because uh, it you're actually... Like, see, it tells me here I installed the Camtasia Studio uh, yesterday. And it might actually uh, remove that. So I would have to download it again. So just go here. Choose a different restore point. So actually, I guess you can pick a date from here. But this is not how it, was, it used to look here. Something wrong. But if you can go back, like, a, about a month or so. Okay, so basically it's going to tell you that if... Um, so I'm going to tell you that... Uh, you're going to want to click on a date and you're going to actually lose all of this stuff that's already installed obviously you're not going to have Camtasia but you're going to have Google Chrome and I hope that's the browser that you guys are using because um, Internet Explorer does not work very well and for me Firefox um, I can't play the IGT game I would go back about a month so today is the 22nd and I would pick a date Maybe I'd go back a couple weeks, okay? And then you're just going to click next and follow the prompts. And I'm not going to do that because um, I don't want to go back in time. My computer's working fine right now. So just click the link to get the system restore. Everybody's going to look different if you're using a uh, different version of Windows. Okay, so you're going to follow the prompts and do what it says. It could take a while. And then once it comes back up, uh, what you're going to do is... Um, you go to over here to the site, and then you're going to be prompted to download the um, the geolocator again. So do that, and if it do still doesn't work, you're going to have to pick another date and go back a few more weeks, probably a month or more. 
okay and um, the next thing you're gonna do is we're gonna have to turn off automatic updates so go to start so okay so we'll go to start and then we're gonna go to search and type in automatic updates and then we're gonna click on turn off or on automatic updates and um, yeah make sure you click on here uh, mark this as a uh, check for updates but let me choose whether to download them because um, if you're if something happened with one of the downloads uh, on Windows and I'm not sure which one and that's what's causing all the problems right now um, so I know on XP it's different than this but um, it'll, you'll still get something similar to this anyway I don't know about Windows 8 or 10 actually right now um, but you're gonna get like little notifications down at the bottom that Windows uh, updates are available or something like that but don't don't install them because that's that's what you're gonna have the same problem all over again uh, so that's that I'm not sure this uh, video is very helpful but I'm hoping that it was if you guys got any questions or anything just give me a holler I uh, hope this helps, and I'll uh, see you on the games. Bye.